Hi, in this video, you will learn how to create a ROS2 service server and service client in Python. We'll also step by step explain the code involved in it. So, first make a folder named uh, ROS2 underscore WS. Next, inside it, create a folder named SRC. Now, uh, we'll open Terminator and I'll split the screen into some parts. Next, navigate to the SRC folder and then we'll create the package. So, the command to create a package is ROS2PKG then create then uh, we specify the build type so just press double tab then amend python so it's a python package then the package name will give it name py underscore service we just press enter and we have successfully created the package you can check in the src folder so we have this package with the default settings Now open the text editor and save this empty file into the src pi service pi service and we'll give it a name pi underscore ser underscore polar.py. Similarly, we will create a client file. So just rename it to pi underscore cli underscore polar.py. Now open GitHub and search ROS2 Basics. Then select this link ROS Tutorial ROS2 Basics and go to the Spy Service folder. Then again go to the Spy Service folder and open pi underscore ser this file uh, we'll, uh, now we'll understand this code so we are using this maths library because we are using maths function like sqrt degree then we have this rclpy uh, rclpy provides the standard python api for interacting with ros2 then we are using spawn service so this library Next, we have this class named minimal service, which will inherit from node. Then we create this node named Pyser uh, Polar node. Then we create the service of type spawn, and the service name is Polar coordinate, which will call this function send response message. And here, uh this inside the send response message uh, we pass this argument request message and response message uh, we create the po uh, polar polar radius using the request message x value and y value similarly we create uh, the tan inverse using the y x and y value then we pass this request message name to response message name and we print the uh, polar radial coordinate and angular coordinate in the console then we have this init uh, so it initializes the ROS then uh, we create the object of the minimal sub, uh, server class and this R then spin starts processing data from the node including callbacks from timer so just copy this code and paste it in the server code now go to the client code and here you can observe that this is similar to the server code we have this while loop which will wait for the service so and here we pass arguments uh, 
from the command line. So we pass this x, y, and theta value from the argument, and then we send this request message. Then we have this uh, object creation of minimal client and we call this send request message. So just copy this code and paste it in the client code. Next, uh, open the package.xml. So we'll just keep it uh, on the left and right path. Now, open the package.xml in the GitHub page. Similarly, open package.xml of our workspace. Next, we'll add this three line because our package is dependent on uh, RCLPY and TurtleSim uh, package. Just save it. And then, uh, we'll modify setup.py. So open the setup.py in the GitHub page. And we need to add this line console script. So just copy and paste here. And close it. Uh, now we need to build a uh, or pack uh, our workspace so just type call con build so our package is successfully built now uh, we need to source it so just navigate to our workspace and just type source and install setup.bash do the same thing in this terminal Navigate to the ROS2 workspace directory and type source and install setup.bash. Now uh, we can run our executable. Just type ROS2 run and py service. So just press double tab and then the executable. So py server ser underscore polar. So we have successfully run our server. Now we'll uh, run the client. We we'll just type ROS2 run and pi service, then pi CLI polar, and we'll pass the argument. So we'll pass 5.0, 5.0, and 0. 0. Just press enter. So we are sending this x coordinate 5, y coordinate 5. And here we are getting response, this polar coordinate, polar radial coordinate 7.07 .07 and polar angular coordinate. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you like this video and learn something new. If you like this video, please give us like and subscribe to our channel and keep learning.